Hello you guys and welcome to a new vlog. I haven't picked up my camera in a few days. Today is... What day is it today? <laughs> is it Monday? No, today is Tuesday because it's the day after Christmas. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's Tuesday. I feel like these holidays are just going by so, so fast. And I was saying to my husband that I'm feeling a little bit panicky because I feel like I haven't gotten the rest that I needed. I mean, the first week of our leave, we went on holiday at St. Lucia and we had a good time. It was really nice family time, family bonding time. And... We didn't really get to rest much. We had like two days where we would take naps in between, but we, we took the holiday kind of easy. But because we drove down there and we drove back, that put kind of like a toll on us. And when we got back, it was like busy. Every day it was, especially me, like I was busy every day. I was finishing up with buying stationery for my daughter for school for the new year, which cost me so much money. And I took a, a video of me unhauling that and I think I'm actually gonna put that clip right here. Hello you guys. I've had a very busy day but I wanted to come on here and show you this big bag of stationary items to show you. So this would be the second video where I'm showing you the stationery so I actually this will be the first time that you see the stationery haul because I've actually decided to do this reset video before I do the vlog that shows me buying the first round of stationeries. I bought like half the stuff I think a month or two ago and so now I bought the rest of the stuff but as I'm going through because I'm going through each item and double checking if I bought everything I realized that these I still need to buy some books or at least five books that I had forgotten but yeah let's let's get into this haul so firstly I'll show you the stuff that we got from Yokiko if you don't know Yokiko it's a stationery shop this is their logo it's a stationery shop in south africa and i've seen it now in quite a number of malls around so yeah we bought my daughter her school bag from there and i knew that i always wanted to come back for other stuff as well because they have really cool items they're not all cheap like okay her bag was quite pricey but it's those um, bags that you can drag and you can detach those that dragging thing and you can wear it as a backpack and it's big enough to fit no, okay. a thousand stationary okay. items that for some reason they need no. but yeah firstly I got no. her a lunch bag so I threw away her old lunch bag because it was looking tired more than tired so this is what it looks like this is the design so what I know about Yokiko is that they they make stationery and stationery items, let me say. And every how many months? Every three months, six months, they change the the patterns. So if you remember my daughter's bag had a butterfly pattern, which I'll show you in another item that I got. But yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside 
There's a nice place to put her lunch bag. Where is her lunch bag? Because I bought her another lunch bag. And then on the inside, they've got the label with the, um, to put the details of your child and where to, f well, I guess if this gets lost, who to contact. So this one is called the Ocean Friends Clip On Lunch Box is what they call it. You can see our ocean friends. I think it's very, very pretty. Okay, so the next item is this wallet. So from next year, when she goes to grade one, they are going to start having Friday talk shop. So you're supposed to send money to your child every Friday for talk shop. And she didn't have a wallet, didn't have anywhere to put it. Like I was gonna put the money in inside envelopes but i feel like i want her to have this feel like she has a wallet she can put her money in and you know start getting this idea of having a wallet and um, it's also from yukiko it also has the label it's the brand and this is in the same design as her school bag it was this flutter by um, era that we're in so yeah, this one is called the flutter flutter by wallet so yeah this is the wallet it has a notes compartment in there some card compartments so this is something that you can actually keep using for a couple of years as she grows older understands money and the uses of money and she starts carrying money and all that so yeah I think this is really pretty. It has this rubbery butterfly um, pattern thing with Velcro to, to close the wallet, but I think it's absolutely cute. And then they gave me a free set of coloring pencils, which I think this container is so cool. I'm kind of going to steal them from my daughter. She's got enough color pencils. but. I actually want to use these today on my coloring book because I've got an adult coloring book that I have not opened in a year. I am replacing her lunch box so I got her this Sistema lunch so what I like about these kind of lunch boxes is that they've got different compartments to add different foods um, we loved using a previous one like this and yeah so we've got these three compartments like that I like because then I can section out her food and her fruits and all that so this is meant to fit in here and by the looks of it, it looks like we will have a lot of space left See how far this thing stretches and what it looks like when it has something inside so just to give you an idea this is how much space is left so if she has a small water bottle she can put it in there but i put a slightly bigger one because i think the one is not enough to sustain her for the whole day when she goes to school so yeah it fits very nicely in this bag and i still have some excess space i noticed that all their lunch boxes are rectangular and then we needed to get these a4 fitted book covers they asked for rainbow glitter glue and they've asked for watercolor pencil the beginner's pencil with the three sides for sleeves pocket sleeves and then we've got some print glue sticks, board, paper boards. I asked for two colored abacus. I've asked for these pastel papers. I like these actually. Like every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I should get one. For, for me, I love these pastel colored ones. I asked for some whiteboard markers. They asked for retractable wax crayons. There's so much coloring art type things. And they've asked for a white board, an A4 white board, and then a white board eraser, a coloring book, a pair of scissors. So my daughter is left-handed, 
so I had to specifically look for one that in, is for left-handed people. This is in here. Another glue stick because they asked for eight. And yesterday I bought her a hairbrush because I want to undo her hair and I want to have some like I feel like the brushes I use with my natural hair I can't use the same brushes for her so um, I'm gonna now buy well stuff specifically for her so I'm gonna try out this brush and see how that works so yeah um, I got her stationery on Saturday and on Sunday, oh yeah, Saturday, and then Saturday evening, I was doing kind of like an inventory to check that I've bought um, all the right items and all the right quantities. And I saw that I have missed a few items, so I went back on Sunday to go buy that. So it's been a lot, like, busy and just prepping for Christmas. We spent Christmas with some family in four ways. We were supposed to go to Hardis, but the rain, the weather was not that great. But anyway, we had a we had a good time. So it's the day after Christmas and I have a busy week this week. I'm calling it my reset week <laughs> because I made a list on my phone in my notes app somebody's waking up good morning sweet pup i made how did you sleep good yes yeah, so i i made a list on my notes app titled december to-do list <laughs> there we go with some bullet uh Points, what do you call these to, to tick and I've made a list of things that I need to get done this week per room in this house because like I said it's my reset week so I'm clearing out closets I'm taking out like old clothes so I've got a list that I've made up per room and this is how long everything is at the bottom part is stuff that I have to buy but yeah I've got a long list some of the things are quick to do so it's just a reminder that okay do this thing and then I can take it off as being done some of the things will take a bit of time like uh, my daughter's room is the one that has the biggest job because we need to sort out all of her toys to keep toys that she's using toys that are old that need to be thrown away and toys that are still in good condition but she's not using anymore and then we're gonna donate that to a charity so the estate that we stay in they at our um, clubhouse they have uh, charity boxes that you can donate so I've already sent like some clothes there so there's the items that we don't need that's where I'm gonna send them so that's what we're doing and like I said her room has the biggest work so it's sorting out her toys, sorting out her clothes. Um, she's got a new set of uniform that, you know, we had to get. I got new hangers for her. I got two of these clear containers from from Builder's Warehouse um, the other day where I'm gonna start sorting out her toys. So I got two because they only had two. Um, but I wanna see kind of see the different types of toys she has and then I can start sorting them and seeing what she needs and what she doesn't. Um, another thing is that we're taking out her compactum because the drawers are actually broken but also it's way too big for her room. It fills up the space and it was a hoarding space for all the toys so I need it out. <laughs> so we're gonna take it out take it outside to like the bin area whoever wants to use it can use it because it has actually quite strong wood um, but we essentially throwing it away then we are going to like start replacing some of the furnitures in her room but that's kind of like a three month um, plan that we have going on first thing on the list we need a table and chair set for her 
and this is specifically for school um, last year so my daughter is in she's going to grade one in the new year so she was in grade r and she had quite a lot of homework well she had weekly homework and we don't have a nice space for her to sit and do her homework properly and the way that she was sitting i could see that it will start giving her back problems at some point so we wanted to invest in like a proper desk and chair for her so we ordered that and that's gonna come on thursday so i want to have the room clean prepped for that and then the next goal it would be to replace her bed so she's got that house house like a bed um and i love it but it's a floor bed and i think she's over having a floor bed so we're gonna sell it <laughs> we're gonna sell it and we're gonna replace it with just the standard single bed that's just off the floor and we'll decorate that so that will happen in the next like between now and three months from now that's our three months plan for her room get her a pedestal get her a nice carpet and yeah at the end of it all i will give you guys like a room tour for her so that's what's going on in that room in this here room um i bought a another bookshelf <laughs> like this one i've been talking about that I need one. Uh, finally bought one, waiting for it to be ready for collection, which I'm suspecting will probably be also Thursday, Friday, and which means that it would still be in this vlog. So I have the job of taking these books off, sorting them, um, making the space. There's an item that we have at the corner that needs to come out and go to the garage. So we need to do that but before it goes there i need to go and clean the garage and sort that out because it also has items that have been there for over a year and i think some of the stuff needs to be thrown away so yeah so we've got i've got a lot going on <laughs> this week i will show you guys some of the things that i'm doing i'm not going to show you everything uh because this video is going to be three hours long and it's just it's going to slow me down so i will show you what i can show you oh the other thing i need to do that i want to do i don't have to do but i'm over it i want to undo my hair <laughs> i think it's time um it's heavy i've got to a point where i need to wash my natural hair and treat it and let it breathe for a bit and i will braid my hair again the week before going back to the office so i've got yeah so i'm gonna chop it like in the next five minutes or so because it's long it's heavy and yeah, i'm over the heaviness and i feel like it has a bit of a smoky smell with all oh, there was a bra yesterday and now it smells like smoke and i'm just like there's no way I'm, i want to wash this hair is too heavy it's too much so i'm over it also it's hot <laughs> it's hot it makes me sweat so i'm not about that life anymore uh but yeah that's that's what i'm doing this week in terms of reading i haven't actually done much reading since i went on holiday i've been just spending time with family and doing other things so i haven't really read much but I have been dabbling in some books. So my husband is reading Red Rising, book one. And every time we drive somewhere, I listen to Red Rising with him. And it's getting me so freaking excited. <laughs> Enjoying this experience with him has been great. So he's still, uh, we're probably like halfway through. Um, but we're only listening, we're driving. So that's what's happening. And I finished Never Lie by Frida McFadden. Never expected the twist. <laughs> it was pretty good. I gave it like four stars. Initially we follow this um, woman called Trisha who her and her husband go and go for this house viewing. 
in the middle of nowhere and this house was owned by this famous um, psychiatrist psychologist turned author who went missing like a few years ago or a year or two or whatever she went missing nobody knows what happens to her they assume that she passed away and she lived alone in this massive house that was like in the middle of nowhere and when they arrive at the house there's a blizzard so they get trapped in the house for like a couple of days and with that the wife Trisha keeps feeling like there's someone living in this house like I'm hearing doors banging I'm hearing sounds that are not you know made by me and my husband what's going on and she discovers this secret room opened by like a book case and in there there's like hundreds and hundreds of tapes because this psychiatrist psychologist was taping all of her sessions with her patients and Trisha starts listening to these tapes and start figuring out oh my god some of these patients were like a little bit hectic a little bit hectic and as she keeps listening things start unfolding and then we start hearing the perspective of the missing psychiatrist so so it goes back in time and then as Trisha listens to let's say a specific um, tape it takes us to the real time events and we hear from the perspective of the doctor so it goes on like that and you start piecing certain things together but I never expected the plot twist that Frida McFadden gave us and I was just like wow <laughs> wow 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 so I give it like a four star rating so I finished that yesterday okay so in terms of physical books I am busy reading Lock Every Door by Riley Sega and I'm on page 92 of this one it is following a main character called Jules who um, signed up for this post to be a house sitter and she finds out that the place that she's house sitting in this is in this very famous building called the Bartholomew and she goes there she interviews for this job she gets the job but she's told that the certain rules she's not allowed to engage with the other tenants she's not allowed to have visitors she must just keep to herself um, she's meant to keep the house clean and all that and they'll pay her like twelve thousand dollars for her to live there for free for three months it just sounds too good to be true i'm just waiting for something bad to happen but yeah so that's what i'm reading right now so i need to kind of like plan what which things I'm tackling today. So I think right now I'm gonna to go to the kitchen, make my brew some tea and just tidy up the kitchen. It's not that dirty, but I just wanna clean it up and I think I wanna wash the fridge. It's one of the things that's on my list. I need to also reset my phone. So I need to go and delete duplicate photos, old photos that I don't need, screenshots, things like that. I need to go clean up all those things so like I said it's my reset week and I'm doing a lot and also talking about resets I'm deciding that I want to do monthly resets on my channel again but I just need to sit down and decide how I want to structure my resets I think I would love it to be more like a vloggy type reset video and not just a sit down reset video but I need to sit down and write down the things that I would want to show to you guys when I do my resets and unlike the previous year i'm not gonna do two separate reset videos because that ended up being way too much i had a wellness reset video and then i had a bookish reset video so i'm gonna combine that into one because my channel does already encompass those two things
guys. Um, a few updates. I've chopped the hair. I'm going to start undoing it probably in a couple of hours till I guess tomorrow if I finish today. But I had a craving for some yummy vegan foods because a friend of mine and myself have decided to go on a weight loss journey. We've been on this also. My washing machine. Hold on, and my battery's flashing. Let me change my battery while this washing machine does what it does. All right, let's try this again. So, I had a craving for vegan mac and cheese. And I went on YouTube, watched a few shorts, Googled some recipes, sorry, Googled some recipes so I can see what I need in the house. So, <laughs> our, I ordered from Woody's Dash. Ooh. Also from Checker 616. Show you guys what I ordered. Some of the things are things that we just need in the house for the week. Starting from Checker 6060, I got two of these um, oat milk from Butternut. You guys have seen this throughout my house. This is what I, I use on a daily to put coffees. My daughter has it now for her cereal as well. So I've transitioned her from soy milk to oat milk. And then I got a bag of cherries. I've got some vegan mozzarella and We've got some vegan cheddar. Got some um, green onion, aka spring onion. Got some chicken wings. We've got some grapes. And then we've got some chicken bread. And then I've got two bottles of this Cape Sweet Red. We've got some red. Like, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I'm not having sourdough bread, or those seeded rolls, the preference is this white bread. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I feel like there's many places in my life where I'm doing healthy things, I can indulge on some nice soft white bread, especially when I'm, I wanna have things like peanut butter and jam. Can't have, can't have peanut butter and jam with sourdough. It's, it just, it's just not the same. And then I've got two of these coconut creams. I don't actually realize how tiny these are, but I guess they fit for purpose for what I need to do. And then got some eggs. That's my haul. I'm just gonna tidy this up and pack away the rest of the things. I need to finish cleaning the bathroom and then I can make some food and eat. I think I'm gonna have, what am I gonna have? I had a, I made a big salad the other day. I probably would have showed that somewhere. I don't know if it's in this video or not, but I made a salad anyway the other day, a green salad, and it's still a loss. I think I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna roast some chickpeas, and then I'm gonna have with chickpeas. I don't think I want meat, um, otherwise I would have had chicken strips, but I'm gonna do the roasted chickpeas and I'm gonna add some apple to my salad, drizzle some lemon with my uh, salad dressing and that's gonna be my lunch and then later on I'll start prepping the vegan mac and cheese which I'll bring you guys with me when I'm doing that. Oh, I almost forgot. I actually <laughs> just came from the store because I needed to get something. And this is what I got. So I got the Very Mark Flowers Spin Supreme Mop set um, because I've been needing to replace my mop for a bit and I convinced my husband to get me one so he was like and I was like you're the best so this is what I got I'm gonna use this now as I mop the kitchen and the rest of the house
good morning and welcome to a new day i did not pick up my camera yesterday because yesterday ended up being somewhat of a rest day and i guess that's what my body needed that's exactly what i did i woke up pretty late i lazed around i did go to the shops because i needed to pick up a few things and then got home and i was actually doing productivity stuff like i updated my youtube banner i updated my youtube intro and outro uh, section of my videos so i'm gonna start using those things in the new year so the banner is already up but the intro and outro i will start using with the very first video that i post in 2023 so that's what i did yesterday and then i i edited my last book haul for 2023 so i did i did a lot i did a lot yesterday so i'm i'm proud i'm feeling proud i'm feeling motivated i woke up feeling quite motivated today i do have a couple of things to do that room behind me that's my daughter's room so she's still sleeping which is why the curtains are still on there but her room is in a state of disarray right now <laughs> and i need to sort it out so we took out the compactum and now we've got all the stuff that was in the compactum that has nowhere to go and most of them are toys which is what i need to work on today so first thing i need to do is clear out her room and i washed her bedding yesterday so i just need to put the stuff back i need to actually get her um different bedding to change because she actually only has one but anyway uh, i need to just make her bed i i'm gonna go to take a lot in a bit well i think i'll wait for my husband because I, I have a few things that i'm picking up from take a lot i've got some skincare products and it's actually new products that i'm trying out so we'll see how that works i found serums these are specifically serums my moisturizer is gonna stay being uh skin creamery which i actually need to go to wellness warehouse today to go get my um my refill or my the new bottle so i need to get that from skin creamery i'm collecting the new skincare products it's from a brand called standard am i getting it right but i'll show it to you guys later today so it's called standards and they've got are they organic i think they mentioned organic the organic skincare products that are cruelty free you guys know that aligns with everything that i am and they were quite affordable and one thing about me <laughs> in this current state of finances right i'm not my finances are not bad but i'm very conscious as to not overspend on certain parts of my life because there's other parts that require a bit more money so for example school is something that we hold to a high importance in this household so we will spend all the money we, we can spend on school on her type of education that she gets on her um, extracurricular activities like we'd rather put our money there than let's say to getting expensive skincare products and in my mind right the, especially like with serums maybe moisturizers and face washes and whatever something else but when it comes to serums there are so many different companies doing it that <laughs> we've got so many options right um and the thing with skincare is that i've learned over the years because i've had problematic skins you guys not skins i've had uh problematic skin 
throughout my teenagers. I was a pimply faced teenager. I had um, dark spots everywhere. Like I still have dark marks that I'm treating. But I would break out. I would break up, break out all the time, and I didn't know what to do. I had tried every single thing I could try. Nothing really worked. And the first thing that started helping me was Pons. When Pons came out with that new range of theirs, and I started using it, and the previous Pons brand or the previous Pons products did not work for me, but the newer version they were they they started the journey to kind of like clearing my skin because I, I was at a point where my skin was so bad that I couldn't leave the house without having like makeup foundation on which was terrible because that was also unhealthy for my skin sorry the sun is moving which was very unhealthy for my skin but that was the only way that I could move about being confident so that's what I did and then I found the Pond's brand and then I used that for years and it did wonders for me and I think when we moved to Cape Town and I went I started my flexitarian journey and I was mostly eating like plant-based meals and exercising and drinking lots of water my skin was glowing I did not have dark spots I didn't have all of these things so I know that my issues right now with like pigmentation it's because of the small breakouts that I've had because I'm not exercising because I'm not eating healthy because I'm not drinking enough water I know it's all of those things so for me the things that I put on my skin don't have as much impact as what I put inside my body I hope that makes sense <laughs> so yeah so I, I thought let me try out this brand it's organic it is cheaper because I've been using um, skin functional and i've been loving skin functional but and and it was the affordable the most affordable for me at this point but then i found this brand i'll take a lot and i'm just like let me try it out <laughs> let me try it out so i bought a few things i will show it to you guys if i really like them i will continue using them but my worry is that take a lot tends to start selling stuff and then not having it anymore or maybe the seller stops selling and maybe they're not seeing their products being used or bought or whatever but i don't know i've got i've got faith in it <laughs> and also because i know i'm now starting to work on my inside that i have faith in my skin looking good but yeah so that's the plan i'm all over the place but plan is to sort out that room because um her table and chair are here here meaning at our take a lot pickup point so we're gonna go pick that up so i need to sort out that room so that i can start getting her things together i did mention that we plan on replacing her bed that's still on the cards um but it's not something that's gonna happen right now we've reached the limit of our budget in terms of what we can do for now so probably in the next month then we'll work on getting her a bed and then month following we'll get her her compactum and then I need to replace her carpet and then table light and I feel like her room will be somewhat ready um, unfortunately her room is really really small I would have liked to have a cubed um, shelf for her like an eight cube shelf for her so that i can um place her toys in there like that would be the next thing but when we move to our next house and we've got all the space then we'll definitely do that so yeah um so yeah sort out the room take a lot um trip and then i need to go to clay cafe and Silver Lakes to go and pick up our clay items that we did a couple of months ago and yeah I'll show you guys I'm quite annoyed and upset because when they sent me the email to go and deliver I mean collect 
they mentioned that they broke my item during the cooking process or whatever it's called and I'm upset and I, I responded I sent an email nobody responded to me so I don't know what I'm gonna find when I get there but I was so proud of what I made you guys I was so so proud I I put so much love creativity and effort into it and because we were there I was there with a friend I it was it was the whole experience of being there so now how am I how is that thing gonna get replaced like what does the damage look like I'm just I'm just annoyed but yeah I need to do that and then I want to record at least one video so I want to record my 2024 reading goals and channel goals as well as my um, anticipated releases for January 2024 and then I need to work on my reset video as well so that is the plan for the day oh my hair I'm not so I undid my braids the other day my hair is still wet um, and it has a leave-in conditioner that's why it's white but I I'm sorry my washing machine is loud right now but I undid my hair the other day and my hair can now do a high puff that I'm so happy about so I'm really looking forward to 2024 in terms of my skin my hair I feel like I don't know I have this feeling that 2024 is gonna be a good good year and things are really looking good so I'm happy with my hair it's growing um i need to i didn't actually like detangle it properly i, I probably still have to like go in and do a proper detangle but yeah my hand is getting tired and i need to start working on uh, this house and um, i'm still doing my resets slowly so i'm doing kind of like day by day room by room so i've done one day so far and um yeah I'm gonna go do the rest of the stuff. I'm still, I'm still waiting for uh, a message to say that I can come collect my bookshelf. So I haven't done that yet, but I wanna kind of. The thing is, I don't wanna start prepping too early. And prepping for me means I have to remove these books and then sort them according to color and according to. Because I wanna sort them. I wanna do rainbow shelves, all right? So I wanna sort them white going across because now i'll have more space but i want to sort them according to color and according in like in alphabetical order so if i have all my white books i want the author that has a uh, discerning starting like uh, with a letter as close to a as possible i will put that first and then all the way to z so that's that's how i'm planning on doing it it's gonna take me a while but i'll be so so happy when i'm done and i can't wait i just can't wait um i'm already thinking about uh, decorating the shelf because i haven't been able to decorate my shelf because it's so full and packed and i had to like double up there's no space to put anything but I want to get like plants, I want to get like some cute ornaments and things like that. But that's going to happen in the next couple of months. But yeah, looking forward to it. I've got big plans for 2024. I've got some things to share. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've already written down my 2024 goals. I'll probably sit today and work on the vision board so our 2024 goals have been split into like finances career um wellness home and personal and me and my husband went through all those different categories and listed what our goals are and i've kind of like put that together as on kind of like bullet pointed lists and i'm going to do a vision board for the household so yeah i'm not gonna share the vision board with you guys this time around i did share it last year um but yeah because this is more of a combined one i don't think i'm gonna do a separate one should i do a separate one for myself i don't know 
maybe I'll do a separate one for myself and save that as my screen background on my phone as I've done previously so maybe I'll do that and then on our home laptop I'll have our home's vision board on there so that we are constantly looking at it and it will be in my journals as well I, I got a wellness journal which I will show in my 2024 goals video and which you would have seen by now and I have my journal to put down my thoughts that's something that I've never really had before and I want to exercise that in 2024 and um, I'm yet to have my reading journal that's one thing that I'm still working on so yeah long update but good morning I am gonna go make myself a cup of coffee and go about to resetting my home okay so I'm about to make some coffee um, I've gotten some more pods today I'm going to make that half cafecitos or whatever they call them so these are the golden caramel ones we had as we were yesterday but I'm gonna dig in here <laughs> to try and get to this one. So this is the yeah. So this is the half coffee natto. So I'm gonna have this right now with the no um, sweeteners, sugars, whatever, just with my oat milk as per usual. So I'll put these back. Um, so yesterday I got this um, burnt caramel pure indulgence um, syrup from Magnificent Barista Boys. So I've never tried this one before. I've usually just had the roasted hazelnut, which is my favorite, but because my husband wanted me to get him some pods to try he's not a coffee person he actually wanted like a hot chocolate type pot but they don't really make them they make hot chocolate flavored which is not the same thing but I thought to get this to give a nice taste especially for him because he's allergic to nuts so he can't have um, anything nutty so yeah, that's what we got going on here. yourself your front ring is gone you know that you see your front ring there it is there, oh, there it is gone yes, it's uh, gone there it is it's gone was i stuck you, on you, the you, you, bah, into the, uh, <laughs> you no but they look they bump into each other those ones <laughs> that, that, can you see that was me i just passed you right there and you, you, you to take me out you almost took me out there that's me here that's the clip you almost okay. took me out this all right you saw that and control. I when control. boy can go, 
Look at that, look at that, look at that. What control? You're on the edge, babe, you're on the edge. Look at that, look at that. Look, look, look. I just look. took off the racing light. Look, look, look. You zigzagging. What is that up in here? Yeah. Yo, no, I lost control there. Wow, look at that. Ah. I couldn't break in time when I had to take the fastest route there. Look, you go no. bah. Look. This is my end. Do you see, do you see ah, where it started? What, next? what part? Yeah, yeah, yes. Look here. Look what happens with that car. Go. Press play. Press play. And then I saw things happening. You put me on you put him on my path. Mama's characters look awesome. They do. Mama, this is your character. Uh, you know how to do it. Yes, I got the purple. Oh, you did a good job. Collect the balls. Collect the balls. Collect the balls. Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Jump, Whoa. jump, jump. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it. You did it. You did it. Don't run off. Don't run off the thing. Hello you guys, we've done it! <laughs> um, I just got back from Decafern to go and pick up my bookshelf. So we're gonna set it up, we're gonna prep it. Um, it, it was freaking heavy. My husband is not here, he went to go visit a friend and I'm very impatient. So <laughs> I went to go fetch it and I was, I was laying it down on the floor kind of hurt my finger a little bit but it's okay nothing's broken <sighs> but it's not gonna uh, ruin the vibe so i'll show you so i got the they call it the bc15 what do they call it yes so they call it the bc15 and i got it in the color wenge because i want my bookshelves to be black but they don't have black bookshelves 
Wayne is like a very dark brown and I got spray paint so that I can spray paint it black before assembly so I'm gonna go do that right now So this is what my daughter's room looks like currently. Um, we've got the table and chair that we set up and some of her items on it. We've got this um, numeric board on here. Some of the pieces are missing and yet to be found somewhere in the house. Um, but yeah, we've got her Legos that she's playing around with and yeah, this is where the compactor used to be. Our Wi-Fi is still on the floor, still making plans for that. We've got her dollhouse over there and this is the frames for her bed. I did mention that we are thinking about changing her bed because we are, we've been struggling to connect those frames back on her actual bed which is kind of like on the floor it's supposed to be like a house shaped but um i think my husband might have a plan to get it done so we'll see if we do it in the interim and yeah so this is what her room looks like so we are still still need to get a pedestal for her a light um the room is small i would have liked to have like a, a cubicle yeah like yeah cubicles over there so that we can put like her toys and her other things like use it for shelf space but if we do it there then it means that dollhouse might have to move maybe here i don't know what to do with this chain now <laughs> because um she's got that one um, but yeah, still trying to figure it out and make the space make sense because it's a very, like, it's a really, titties, it's a really small, it's a really small space. So yeah, and I want to replace this carpet. It's number one, way too big for her, way too fluffy. It catches on everything. It's easy that I can just throw it into the washing machine and wash it, but it's still a lot of work and she plays in here a lot and there's things that get caught on there so I saw a carpet that I want to get for her from Mr. Pryor's home so yeah that's the plan so this is what the room looks like um, the cupboard is still at least somewhat organized she took that down from somewhere um, but, uh, Here's the hanging side, and we've got those containers to hold her stuff. That's her stationery down there. So when that is gone in two weeks' time, I'll probably want to get more of these to separate some of her stuff. Like in there is also some toys, some puzzles, um, like that. So yeah, this is what her room looks like her work cup looks like her shoes are there i'd like to get to a point where i'm using that space over there for her shoes because obviously that's not enough so some of the stuff is like climbing on them those are her new school shoes and um, school sneakers for sport days so yeah that's what the room looks like so far i really like this desk and chair i didn't think it was this small i thought it would be a little bit bigger but it fits the space so that's fine and then we've got the bookshelf <laughs> um some books sitting on that side i need to sort out this area here um so we want to take this shift it a little bit onto this side so it will probably end there and then we can fit the other bookshelf on this side there the other bookshelf is in progress it's actually upside down because you see that the color on the side is still the winch color but on the opposite side it's the black 
um, spray paint so I didn't really mind to spray everything otherwise I would have needed like a lot more spray paint I'll show you the bookshelf once it's inside the house and ready to be packed okay it's time to take this down um, and put it away so I don't have anywhere to put it right now so I'm just gonna put everything in a black bag and store it away until I can find a nice long transparent box like the ones I use for the toys to actually place everything in I had one extra box that I was gonna use for all the ornaments but we ended up using it for all the tools that we have so yep this is gonna go in a plastic for now it only wants the white ones and the bottom And this one is dead. Thank you. What are we going to use this for? For dipping our paintbrushes. I knew it. Okay, let's put it right here. Okay, let's put it right here so that everyone can reach.
So, I mix the blue, and then I paint. Hello. First of all, we've got new hair, which I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been doing my hair since um, when did I start? A lot yesterday? Oh no, yeah, I started yesterday. I'm done, but I'm tired. I've been doing it like the whole morning today, and I just finished. So, yay! This is the hair. Um, I didn't use any gels or anything um, for the edges. You know how when people braid to make it neat, then they'll use like gel or whatever. But first of all, I don't like it because then it stays in the hair and I feel like it cake. Wow, my battery got full. I really need to edit. <laughs> Which is something that um, I still want to do today. I uploaded my January TBR this morning and I would have liked to do my January 2024 reset vlog which is actually this video here and have it uploaded by like 6 but I'm tired and I still have a bit to do. Um, just hung some laundry right now. I want to go to the kitchen and cook. Tomorrow is work. Tomorrow is back to work. So I need to like prepare whatever I need to prepare for the week. I want to start a new morning routine. So because school is not yet open this week, I want to use the opportunity to like do what my 5 a.m. morning routine would look like. So. I want to make sure that all the outfits that need to be ironed are ironed for the weeks because I don't want to iron anything during the week. I need to make sure that I've cooked, like I'm going to cook. I did cook yesterday. I made a um, lentil pasta bake. So I made that yesterday. I still have like half of it, which we'll have probably for dinner. But I want to make a strawberry stroganoff with some rice and some veggies on the side so that my husband can take that for his lunch as well. So yeah, that is the plan. So the plan is to wake up at 5 o'clock, do a 30 minute workout, um, and then meditate, take a shower, 6 o'clock, I want to chill and read or maybe six o'clock i might be helping helping my husband get ready for work so maybe let's say 6 30 6 30 there i want to be there i want to be reading for at least an hour have my morning tea or whatever and then 7 30 start preparing my works well my workstation i'm going to prepare it from tonight anyway my husband need to take his uh driving wheel off of the table <laughs> and put it somewhere else so that i can have my space to work again so yeah um so i still have a lot of things to do but i'm probably not gonna get to everything i hope that i'll get my reset vlog up today if not we'll try for tomorrow but yeah it's been a hell of a week you guys would have seen all the things that we got to in this week in this vlog like we've done a lot 
and because of that i didn't really get much reading done i did reread spy family volume 2 which i finished this morning i borrowed a copy from the library so i returned it to the library this morning and then my hold for air of fire which is book three in the throne of glass series by sarah j moss is available so i have that book on loan so now i have four books from the library that i need to read i think i need to send an email to extend my library hold for the physical library books that i have so that at least i can push them for the end of the week but yeah so i've been i finished uh, spy family volume two and I'm listening to A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. I've actually listened to this book before. I think the girl was telling me that she's listening to it and like, and I wondered, did I listen to it? I don't remember if I listened to that book. And then I started listening to it and I'm like, okay, it sounds familiar. But now as I'm listening, I'm just like, okay, now I want to really remember what happened. <laughs> so um, I'm going through with it. I'm now, I'm on chapter 23 of 51 on the audio so i'm listening to that i'm physically reading lock every doll by riley sega which is a book that katlo borrowed to me i started this like last year two weeks ago and i've been reading so slow i haven't been getting through it but we're following a main character called jules and jules is a young female in like her early 20s she's down and out her parents passed away in a fire like suicide style her sister went missing a couple of years back was never found so she's essentially like the only person she's like down and out in debt um looking for a job desperate for a job until one day she sees this ad to become a house sitter for an apartment unit somewhere and they don't say where the what the name of the apartment building is and when she gets there for an interview she realizes that it's one of the famous like well-known very old building in Man is it in manhattan i don't know but this building is like a ancient looking building with like gargoyles and statues and things like that so she goes for the interview and they asking very specific questions like do you have any family do you have a boyfriend do you have a partner so it already felt like they were looking for somebody with no relationship ties and she's like no i've got no one and she recently like she broke up with a boyfriend recently so she has no one and and they're telling her like we're offering like twelve thousand dollars to for you to house sit this apartment i'm just like who is going to allow you to house it basically like that apartment is like a massive gorgeous apartment it's like high-end apartment and pay you for it something something's not right and then there's there's rules as well so they tell her that she's not allowed to have any visitors and she's supposed to be there for three months she's not allowed to have any visitors she's not allowed to spend any um, nights away from the apartment as well as she's what is the third rule oh she's not allowed to like bother any of the tenants but it doesn't work out that way <laughs> it doesn't work out that way um and i mean a day or two after she's been there one of this two other house sisters one of the house sisters goes missing and the people at the this apartment place are acting like a little bit shady about it so she goes on this journey to try and figure out what happened to ingrid and for her it's a very sensitive and triggering point because her sister went missing and she's never been found so she's got that at the back of her mind and the whole time she's thinking if i if we have done one two three for my sister maybe she would have been found she's so she's going into the situation with that mindset which makes her end up bothering the people <laughs> at the bartholomew that's what the building's called but yeah that's what i'm listening to um i have my suspicions of what's going on i feel like there's rooms or doors at this Bartholomew at this place that are just dead bolted nobody like 
they've never seen anybody go in and out of that place. I feel like somebody in there is abducting these women who do not have any family members, don't have any kind of ties, and I have a suspicion that it is the guy in 12B. I forgot his name, the doctor. I just, there's something about him that I'm just like, ah, I don't, mm -mm. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what I'm physically reading. I hope that I'll finish reading that tonight. And then from tomorrow I can start with the fifth season. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the last day of this vlog. Also, bookshelf. <laughs> also, I've, um, gotten a put up the second bookshelf it's actually this one here this is the old one that's here i feel like i spray painted on the camera it doesn't look the color difference is not there but I'm, my, i have a very pedantic brain and i can see where the little browns are still showing i will figure it out but i finished setting up my bookshelf and i will do a book shelf tour video after this one i wanted to record that today still so we'll see how that all works out but yeah i'm excited for this year i'm excited for my reading this year now i can see all of my books and you guys so as i do the the, the bookshelf tour i'm actually gonna count or well when i'm recording i'll count how many books i have on my shelves that is under it essentially my physical tbr and i'm thinking i'm estimating like 350 uh, books that i have here so yeah but this is where i'm gonna end this video if there's no other footage after this one i hope that you enjoyed this reset vlog and if you did enjoy it remember to give this video a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already share this video with your friends and family and i will see you guys in my next one bye